Hey guys, quick update on the 88. Hadn't done one in a while. Um, hopefully you're gonna get the oil pan gasket and the rear main seal put in it today, the new flywheel, uh, new transmission cooler. Um, I'm rebuilding the transmission in this truck. By no means take any advice from me, but I will give you my opinion. Um, I always take the coolers off the radiator. Um, I don't run transmissions through the radiator. A lot of people tell you need to, that they have to run a certain temperature. I don't, um, simply because I have tore a lot of transmissions out. I've had some pretty stout little old trucks and cars and stuff, and and um, typically I will tire some transmissions out. And I had a 69 pickup truck that I actually got from Primer's Best, and I put a big style and stuff in it. I couldn't keep a transmission in that truck. Well, I finally took the cooler off the radiator and put an external cooler on it with a fan. Now, I'll, I will run a fan six or seven inch fan on these coolers, anything with a big stall. And uh, heat kills a transmission. I mean, it's as simple as that. And if you can cool it down, it's gotta help. So that's what I do. Uh, you can try it if you want to, um, completely up to you. I've done it on 350 turbos, 400 turbos, 700 R's, four L60s, um, about all these uh, common GM transmissions. And I've had nothing but good luck out of them. And I have, I have uh, put a few of them through some beating. So and they've held up uh, again with this external cooler and if you're running a big style a little fan's not a bad idea um, this stuff don't really, don't really need this but i've had it new here for a little while so go ahead and put it in the truck while i've got it down this far it's relatively easy to access so with the transmission out so I might as well go ahead and do that while i'm there uh here's the transmission again i'm learning i don't know what i'm doing but there's a guy on youtube if you want to check him out he's a super knowledgeable guy his name's Hiram his name on YouTube is automatic transmission uh, the guy really seems to know what he's doing I do not know him personally but just from watching his videos you can just kind of tell when somebody knows what they're doing and the guy knows what he's doing um, I've got the transmission built to this point uh, everything from here down is new I've ordered all Red Eagle uh, Alto uh, frictions and steels and um, I've ordered an entire bushing kit. I went ahead and put all the bushings in it. Most of these kits just come with two bushings. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and bought all the new bushings. You can still see I have a few bushings to put in uh, with the pump and a couple other things. But uh, anyway, a lot of bushings in one of these transmissions. A lot of bushings. You'll have to look over these old tables and stuff. This is kind of, I threw this up. Uh, my uncle was gonna throw these desk away and I just sort of needed something right for now. I've talked to Tim Dixon about building me a big bench to do this on with the little bumpers and a drain hole and stuff for the fluid. So uh, hopefully I'll get that soon and we'll throw these benches in the uh, scrap pile. But uh, anyways, this is kind of a 700 R tour part here. It kind of gives you an idea of how many little parts and pieces and stuff there are. A lot to remember, um, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's not been that bad for me now. It's not together and it's not changing gears yet. So um take that for what it's worth but anyway i'm getting there uh, i could go ahead and get it finished up and get it back in the truck but uh this is two pumps uh one is out of another that other transmission over there um this is the pump slide and you can see it's kind of shiny uh down in there all that's kind of supposed to be black sort of like this out here so this would probably be just fine both of these transmissions pulled good um both of them lost third and fourth you can see that one's about the same shape um these are your veins little little veins here um i can't hardly get a hold of them, them gloves but they go down in here these are both 10 vein pumps uh which is the 87 up pumps the better pump um i've got a corvette servo uh for this transmission and this blue i'm going to paint that back black that just kind of the only high heat paint that I had at the time so I just threw it on it I don't really like it so I'm going to paint it back black but um, anyways I've put all the right stuff in this thing I didn't cheap out uh, for what I've spent I definitely could have paid somebody to have rebuilt this thing uh, and not had to fool with it as far as just a stock rebuild now this will have a lot better stuff in it um, you can kind of see the that red eagle band how it's kind of see the red down in here that's the drum band uh, anyway, I hope it works out. If it doesn't, uh, not the end of the world. 
I, I'll be a little disappointed, but um, we'll see. Like I said, I'm just learning. If it's not right, then uh, I'll just have to do it again. It is what it is. Um, another thing I got done, I had to go to the junkyard and get some more of these uh, plates here. The, it's got the window regulator and stuff on it for the door panels. Uh, this truck's an 88, so it had the, had the ugly door panels on it. In my opinion, I just like these better. Um, I've got to grease this door up a little bit too, but I've got the dash in it, got the radio in it, um, got the headliner in it. I don't know if you can really see that real well, but anyway, it's come a long, long ways. Uh, this interior color change uh, was a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but I've about got it there. It's got to get the carpet put in it, some interior trim pieces, get the transmission in it, and uh, hopefully it goes down the road, changes gears, does what it's supposed to, and then I'll take it to jimmy's pro muffler over in dayton having put exhaust on it and uh i'll be done with this thing um he's he's real good with these uh with this exhaust if you're around dayton tennessee i highly recommend him and again i know a lot of people wanted me to do a video on this transmission i'm not going to do one simply because i don't want anyone taking any advice from me uh, again i'm learning i don't know what i'm doing yet i've learned a lot and i think i could probably help a few people with some things but uh right now again i'm still in the learning process so uh, we'll leave it at that uh, again check out automatic transmission on youtube the guy's name's hiram he's really knowledgeable you can just kind of tell the way he works check him out if you want to you know kind of learn how to do this uh and there's some books and stuff on ebay you can order that's what i've done so we'll see how this one works out i'm going to get busy i don't have a lot of time left in the day here uh primer is best but only do a video so here you go jimmy uh y'all have a good one and i will catch you on the next one